Hello all and thank you for joining the 2020 North Texas Regional Bricklayer event. We are live and streaming all during this event. We're here to bring you everything, every information that you need to know about what the Bricklayer event is all about. You'll soon see that these competitors, they're here to compete to win a winning trip to Vegas. And everything that they do takes skill, time, and patience all of these guys, one of these guys will be going to Vegas for an opportunity to become the Spec Mix Bricklayer Champion. Speaking of champions, we have many, many competitors here that are repeats. They've been here before, they've competed. This ought to be a really, really good competition in terms of the craftsmanship, the number of brick laid, as well as the height of the walls. We have lots of information to bring you, as you can see. Tenders are preparing their boards, getting their engines ready to start, ready to rock and roll. There we go, there we go. Man, the myth, the legend. That's him right there. Ronald Rodriguez. Ronald Rodriguez, we're looking for some good stuff out of you guys. How we doing? You guys looking to do some, some winning today, yeah? Awesome, awesome. Well, we're looking forward to you guys competing and doing an awesome job for us here. We we'll take it live here in a few minutes and when we get ready to say trials up, it's gonna be interesting, folks. It's gonna be very, very interesting. Take a walk right here. You're looking at the starter course of the okay, wall guys, that these guys are getting doing. Getting ready over here. We're gonna start announcing some of the teams. Uh, we're about to announce our teams and get started. You'll see these guys are ready to go. Tools are in place. Strings, twigs are ready to rock and roll. Bricks are lined up, and these guys are ready to go to Vegas. And Lewis Martinez. We've got Whitehead Masonry and Booth Three, Stall Three, with David Whitehead and Chris Scottrack Davis. In uh, booth number four, we got Arson Masonry. We've got. Uh, uh, Mario Landeros and Adolfo Gonzalez Jr. Thank you guys. And uh, booth five, we've got Simpson Masonry. We've got You'll see we have our mud runners here. These guys are taking the mud, running it to the trays. Our gator back mud boards here, as you'll see, in the bins. Mason and Tenders working together. A little bit of information, as you'll see here. Mason's tendering his mud, as we say, getting it ready, fluffing it up. Ricardo Salinas and Gonzalo Rodriguez. Great go, guys. And then in booth number eight, we've got B.S. Royston Masonry. Royston Masonry, we've got Shelby Royston. We have lots of competitors here, friends, family, folks from the office. We got guys here that are super proud of what they do. Let's see that little ink you got there, brother. Got a little bit of ink here showing his Spec Mix 500. He is a serious, serious competitor to want to win this game. Lots of interesting things you'll see about our contestants today. From tattoos to the tools they use, they are here to win the game. Guys are doing their final prep to get ready to start laying brick. As you can see, getting their lines level. Starter course is ready to go. We'll walk you over here to a few of these boots here. Talk a little bit about these competitors. Hey, hey give a good shout out there. It's our father-son team here. Looking forward. Yeah. Yep. Alexa, there, there you go. We're looking to have some serious brick laid in this booth. This is uh, one of our only uh, father-son teams here. 70 years old, out here rocking and rolling. These guys will be rolling the mud in, getting it all ready for our tenders to take the mud over here. A couple of things that I'll talk about here, guys, is you'll see our tender here. A 
Richard is uh, shaking it up, as they say, with the mud on the boards. These tenders, this is a, these are teams of two people, folks. These two guys will be here, one laying the brick, the other throwing the mud on the boards, getting it ready, shaking it up, keeping it fluffy, keeping it full of air, so our masons are ready to throw the mud down and not have to worry about anything or any indifferences in the way they're laying their brick. We are minutes away from kicking it off. You'll see these guys are anticipating some serious start time. We're just a few minutes from getting going. I'll take a quick minute to introduce myself. I'm James Boozing, the voice of the internet here for the Dallas Bricklayer event and the soon to be coming San Antonio event. We look forward to having you guys throughout this event for the next couple hours. And please stay with us, click on, cheer these guys on, and we do appreciate you being here. Thanks a lot. And we, uh, we'll be talking a whole lot more than this. Get the camera right there. You see our mud guys are mixing over here at the silo. Shout out to Sunbelt Rentals, of course. Couldn't do it without you guys. Folks are anticipating getting started, waiting on a couple of more teams here to get going. As you can see, we start this event here. These guys start out with the starter course, then their block laid down, got it level, ready to go. And we'll just kind of take you down the wall here and show you that uh, there's no game here, folks. This is one layer, and we expect to see many, many, many layers of brick throughout this event. As you'll see, this competition is not more than than an hour long in in uh, time frame, but uh, these guys are looking and expected to lay anywhere from five to seven hundred brick per hour, which is a lot of brick. And we're not talking just throwing the brick up, folks. We're talking about these walls have to be constructed as if they were on the job, as in they're not just competing to see how many they can put up. But this these walls will go up. They have to be level. They have to be square. They can't have chip bricks. We're working off a half inch bed mortar, as you'll see. If I show the camera here right, you'll be able to see some of the mortar beds. And these guys will work their way up the wall, getting as many bricks as they can as you can see. He's shaking it up here, keeping the mud ready to rock and roll. Yes, sir. And this would be sky track if I'm not right. Hey, man, let me get the camera up high there so we can catch him. It's 6'6". Six, six. There you go. We got him up high now. Turn the camera the other way. We appreciate you guys being here. There you go. Serious competitors here. We got Lupe here with D Brown. Serious competitor, no stranger to winning, that's for sure, right? We'll take this home again. We're looking at a repeat winner here of our event. Competed in Vegas. Good guy. He's here, he's definitely here to get things rocking and rolling. We're about to start our event. I'll stand back and clear the way for these guys so they can get going. As you can see, our guys are on their mark for the most part. I think they all need to be watered myself. We're gonna kind of stand back here and you can see these guys as they get going. Everybody stands back behind the line once everybody is ready to go. All right, everybody. We tell them trials you up. You ready here? All right, everybody, trials up. All right, guys, five, four, here we go. three, Two, one, go! Good luck! These guys are going. A little bit of information here about the tender. As you can see, he is on one side of the wall. He is unable to help other than hand out the brick, lay them down. He cannot hand the brick. The mason will be.
be talking about our competitors. You can See the tenders lining up brick in the format. Patient up building his wall. These brick overhanded uh, as if they were on the actual wall or scale. We're all talent, folks. These guys are getting after it, and they are not hesitating.